Hey what's up guys, Tanmaya for Simple Snippets and in this video tutorial we are going to be learning how to perform subtraction of binary numbers using the 2's complement method. So let's first see what exactly 2's complement means. So 2's complement of a binary number is equal to the 1's complement of that number plus 1. So you first need to know what 1's complement is and I have already put a video on 1's complement so you can check it out. Basically 1's complement of a binary number is just the flipping of bits. So if you have a number 1010, the 1's complement would be equal to 0 1 0 1 and 2's complement would be equal to plus 1 so we just need to add one more value so this would be 0 1 1 0 so again 2's complement of 1 0 1 is equal to its 1's complement plus 1 so we have 1 0 1 0 so the 1's complement would be 0 1 0 and we just need to add one more so that would be 0 1 1 so 2's complement of 1 0 1 is equal to 0 1 1. So it's pretty simple to calculate 2's complement and 1's complement. So using this method, we're going to be performing subtraction of two binary numbers. Now 2's complement can be used to perform subtraction as well as represent negative numbers and it gets easy because once we calculate the 2's complement, we don't need to perform the subtraction. Instead, we need to perform addition, which is much easier. So let's see how to perform subtraction using 2's complement. So in step 1, let's see question number 1 first. We have 11010 in binary minus 11001 in binary. So I've also written the decimal values over here. So you know 26 minus 25 is going to give us 1. So that should be the result for the binary subtraction as well. So the step 1 what we have to do is we have to calculate 2's complement of the second number. So 2's complement of 11001 is equal to 1's complement of that same number plus 1. So that would be, now we just have to invert the bits. So zeros will become 1 and 1's will become 0. So we have 00110 plus 1. So this would be 00111. Now we just need to add this value to the first value and we don't have to perform subtraction now. So let's start with the addition 11010 plus 00111. Okay, so let's perform the addition. We have 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 0 with a carry. If you don't know how to perform addition, I have already put a video on addition of binary numbers. So you can check that out as well. So 1 plus 1 would give us 0 with a carry. Again, 1 plus 1 will get 0 with a carry. And lastly, we will get 1 plus 1. 0 with one more carry. So this one is an extra carry that we get and if we get an extra carry we just need to discard it and the rest of the value that we got is our final answer. So we just have to discard this value and this is our final answer and when we get a carry it is mostly going to be positive. So this is the final answer and it is corresponding to one in decimal value as well. So you can go ahead and convert this binary number to decimal and you'll get the value of one that is 2 raised to 0 which is equal to 1. So let's see question number 2 which is 25 minus 26 that is we have to subtract a larger number from a smaller number. Okay so in question number 2 we have 11001 in binary minus 11010 in binary. Now so I have already written the decimal values over here so it should give us a negative value as the answer. So let's start solution or let's start solving this problem. We have to first take 2's complement of the second number. 2's complement of 11010 is equal to 1's complement of that same number plus 1 so that would be 00101 so we just have to flip the bits or interchange or reverse the bits and we just need to add 1 so this would be 01100 so now we've calculated the 2's complement of the second number now we just need to add this number with the first number so we have 11001 plus 00110 we just need to take addition of this and we get the addition as 111 one one okay so we got this number but since we did not get any carry extra so we did not get any carry extra which means that the answer is negative and the answer is actually going to be in two's complement of what the answer we got so we have to again take two's complement of this value and that would be our final answer so when we take two's complement of five times one we would get one's complement that is one's complement of this number is five times zero plus one so that would be zero 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 one and this is going to be a negative value so this is our final answer so always remember when you get a carry we have a positive answer and we just need to discard that carry but when we don't get any carry or any extra number over here the answer is always going to be in two's complement of whatever answer we got so this is not the actual value but we have to take two's complement of this value and then get the final answer so in question number three 
we have a smaller value which needs to be subtracted from a larger value so as you can see 11.25 is greater than 6.5 so we are going to get a positive value so first we need to calculate the two's complement of this number and in order to e make equal number of digits we need to add a zero over here so let me just erase this and add a zero now taking two's complement of this value two's complement of 0 1 0 0.10 is equal to one's complement of that same number plus one so that would be one double zero one point zero one plus one which would give us the final value of one zero zero one point one zero now we need to add this with the first number so one zero one one point zero one plus one double zero one point one zero now taking addition we get one one point then 1 plus 1 is 0 with 1 carry again 1 plus 1 0 with 1 carry here we get 0 plus 1 is 1 and 1 plus 1 0 with 1 extra carry so as you can see we got 1 extra carry so this means that the subtraction result is going to be positive and we just need to discard this value and consider this as the final answer so if you convert this value that is 100.11 or 100.11 you'll get the answer of 4.75 in decimal so this is how you use two's complement for performing subtraction of binary numbers and using the two's complement it's pretty easy to calculate the subtraction answers so that's it for this video guys i hope you understood how to perform two's complement and perform sub subtraction operation using two's complement on binary numbers now if you have any queries you can always put them in the comment section and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Peace.